and welcome to the Animal Emergency Service. I'm Amanda, I'm one of the nurses. This is Ali, Ali's one of our senior client care representatives. We're going to talk to you today about toad toxicity. We've got Ali's dog, Gracie, here, and we have Kane, the cane toad here, to help us with our talk today. How does our pet get toad toxicity? What will happen is Kane will be hopping around in the backyard, Gracie will come along and either grab the toad or lick the toad and the toxin is excreted from the parotoid glands and the parotoid glands are these glands on the side here and here okay the toxin is really sticky and it attaches to the mucous membrane so inside the dog's mouth her lips her gums and even the oral mucosa and the ocular mucosa as well. So what happens is once they've grabbed the toad, they might start salivating excessively, so drooling, they might vomit, they might be pouring at their mouth, their gums will become really brick red instead of being that nice pink color. And they might start to actually have muscle tremors, they might have diarrhea, they might collapse and left untreated, they could progress to seizures and also have heart arrhythmias. So part of the cane toad toxicity, it has catecholamines in it, which can cause a dangerous, either very high or low heart rate and can be life threatening. So what can you do at home as emergency first aid to help your pets? If you see them mouth the cane toad, what you want to do is wash out their gums. Now we're gonna give you a little demonstration of how to do that. What we don't want you to do is don't get the hose. And spray that onto their gums or into their mouth because when you spray the hose, it comes out high pressure. Your pet's not going to like it. They're going to be throwing their head around and they're at risk of inhaling some of that water. And if they inhale it, they could get what we call aspiration pneumonia, which in itself can be life-threatening. So what we want to do is get a little container of water, a tea towel that you've got lying around at home, wet the tea towel down, wring it out and then we're going to scrub Gracie's gums. So we're gonna lift up her lips and we're gonna really wipe in there until they are squeaky clean. We wanna do her top gums, both sides, and you'll find that that's quite sticky. So we're gonna have to rinse that off and then go again. We wanna do this for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes. The only time you would stop washing their mouth out is if they do progress to seizures and they need to be transported to the vet immediately. Even after you've rinsed their mouth out, you still, we recommend that you come and see the vet to make sure that they are okay. However, triage at home initially, if they're not seizuring, is to wipe their mouths out and this can actually be life-saving for them. If you're having trouble getting their mouth open because you do need to do the roof of their mouth, the top of their tongue, under their tongue, you can grab a shoelace that you might have laying around at home and pop this in their mouth to help open their mouth. So we'll give a little demonstration. Sorry, Gracie girl, you're such a good girl. You're going to pop that into their mouth like that. Good girl, Gracie. And it just helps open their mouth, okay? And then they can't bite you. Oh, you're such a good girl, Gracie. Well done. Very good girl. And that's how you can help your pets at home if they have come in contact with a cane toad. If you've got any questions, have a look at our website at animalemergencyservice.com.au. Thank you.